Hello Team Taurus, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Any placements in your chart, you can flip it, reverse it with the energies. So, thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes and booking personal readings with me. So let's get into your reading, Taurus. First deck I'll be using is the Animal Spirit, then we'll get into the Tarot. So here we have... There is some crazy shift going on, okay? And I don't mean crazy, but I mean really intense shift going on with you right now, Taurus. I feel like spirit is really on you to change things in your life in order for you to transform. This sea serpent here has to do with healing emotional wounds. So emotional wounds, possibly you're being triggered by people, by situations right now. And it's kind of like you're trying to figure out a way to get out of something, okay? You're trying to figure out a way to change things in your life. And I feel like these changes are really, like, they're past due, but spirit is really on top of you at this time. And this has a lot to do with your fears you have also. So some of you are having fears. Your ego's coming up and telling you, you know, you can't make those changes. Who do you think you are? Or things of that sort. I feel like there is um, also, so for some of you, this is self-judgment. So it, maybe you're blaming yourself for something. Maybe um, you're, um, I just feel like change is, it's like the winds of change are here, Taurus. But I feel like you've been um, pushing it away, okay? But spirit is on you and it's like, there. you might be getting synchronicities. I feel like a lot of, um, you're getting your intuition, you're getting messages. So it could be through animals. Maybe you're seeing certain animals. Animals are, t you feel like they're talking to you or like they're making noise. They're trying to tell you something and like any type of birds are messengers is what I'm getting. So you might be seeing birds a lot around you um, in your neighborhood, whatnot. And also um, other animals, butterfly, I'm getting butterfly, dragonfly, they, like it's like spirit is trying to talk to you okay they're trying to send you messages you might be seeing numbers like 555 um 888 um 222 okay so there's all these number synchronicities coming up because spirit is trying to push you to a new direction okay you also might be seeing for some of you what i'm getting you're seeing your ancestors in your dreams okay so pass on loved ones are coming to you in your dreams because they're with you your guides are with you they could be your guides like ancestors are sometimes your spirit guides so it's like you're getting so much like you know um spiritual activity is what i want to say okay and it's to heal the old wounds so you can you're being pushed in a new direction taurus okay now whatever this has to do with it's going to change your life okay and you're you're being guided to make the changes that are necessary for you to finally heal these past emotional wounds okay some of you have been carrying them around for a while long time some are saying for some of you since childhood okay some childhood trauma coming up too so pay attention to what spirit is saying hone in on your intuition go on walks ground yourself get into nature um and you will you will get the messages more clearly try to eat a um a healthy diet at this time okay a lot of water drink a lot of water okay do some detox smoothies what else that good load up on vitamin c they said okay so this is the illuminati tarot let's get into the first person taurus yep okay Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So your person here, I'm going to say it's your person. It could be you, but I feel like it's, there's a cycle ending with this person. I'm not going to hold this card up for much longer. This is the world card. This is about an ending of a chapter, okay? What I feel here is that this person who you're dealing with, Taurus, it's like they didn't realize the cup that you gave them. I feel that this person took advantage or they didn't 
realize how you know special you are maybe they took you for granted or I do feel rejection here I feel like you're this person did rejected your cup okay and um, they're going to be realizing a lot of things I feel like there's a major transformation going on in your person's life there is a cycle ending and then we got the tower card okay so something's going down for this person okay this person I feel was avoiding their intuition okay they're avoiding what are, their intuition and they haven't been speaking to you I do feel like this person has been um, ignoring you for some, quite some time okay so um, or the communication isn't going anywhere it's very light communication but this person is having a tower moment okay something's going down in their life and it's necessary spirits on them for them to end this cycle okay and I feel like this person um, as they do this as they go through this destruction okay this chaos um, the storm you know however the tower invades their life it's like this person hasn't been focusing on their spirituality their health it's more to me like this person is focusing on their money or their um, their um, livelihood okay like their career or you know their stability but this person I feel like that's when they'll be ready to talk so if you're being ignored by this person if they're not really giving you the time of day I feel like this person is going through the you know what they call the dark night of the soul things like that but it's not only one night you know I always say that it's not only one night guys does it, all the stuff doesn't go down in one night and then the next day you wake up and it's like nothing happened no nope. this person is going through a phase where they're having their tower phase okay and it's because this person hasn't listened to their you know to in, their intuition about what direction to take they're very um earthy energy is what i'm getting it's like they're very um um, they could be materialistic too for some of you I feel like this person is more you know like what do you have what are possessions like they're very into that kind of stuff okay and spirits on them but I do feel like this person might reach out to some of you after they go through this phase yeah this has to do with them like you know having too much on their plate taking on too much responsibilities here and that's affected your connection i do feel like their focus was not you um you were not a priority in their life okay so let's see this is the other deck which is tarot all the decks i use are down below guys check them out if you want so okay Okay. All right, guys. So this is about Taurus. This is about you breaking free. Okay. I feel that you have lacked the confidence to be independent. I do feel like you depended on this person to come back around and fix things between you two. You've been waiting on them. I feel like a lot of waiting. And now you're kind of going, getting over it over that in a sense where you're just like I got to do me you're realizing that now because you might be have you know waited for this person for a long time for some of you I don't know how long you've been waiting let me know in the comments but this person you it's like you feel this soulmate connection okay you felt this you know um you could have been felt, felt like a kid all over again with this person you guys had fun together you got each other you finished each other's sentences that is what I'm getting for some of you it's like you got their like you got them and they got you you know what I mean like understood each other but you're thinking now to yourself you know what I don't know if this this reconciliation is ever gonna happen like I haven't even heard from them or when I hear from them they act like I'm an old friend you know um, they don't really make any um, moves okay and so I feel like you're giving up hope, but you're at the same time, it's like, you know, you have to now focus on yourself and you're working on yourself, becoming independent, building up your self-esteem here. 
is what I'm getting because you're realizing that you you're realizing that your self-esteem was low, okay? You're realizing that you weren't really focusing on yourself, you know, um, taking care of yourself, okay? And what I'm seeing here is like, you're really going through um, your evolution right now, okay? There's things that you've been denying. There's things that you've been putting under the rug from the past and this for some of you this has like i said you know that we got the end in the oracle cards the animal spirit cards like you have some things from childhood um inner child wounds that you need to heal okay taurus so this has to do with you working on that and um this is a part of your evolution so really um Focus on your intuition at this time. Focus on the healing that you need to do to um, get out of that. So some, some of you, okay, this is what I want. This is a small group of you. This could only be a few of you. I'm getting that you come from a family where your mom and dad, okay, had a lot of issues in their relationship. And it's, it's you have, um, You've experienced like a lot of pain when it has to do with that, that you haven't healed, okay? And this has a lot to do with how your relationship is showing up now, how your romantic relationships are showing up now, okay? So think about that. Think about how your parents were for whoever this resonates with. This is not going to resonate with everybody, guys, on the planet. That's a Taurus. This has to do with how your mom and dad, you know, connected together how they behaved with one another how was it so that has a lot to do with how you that's the reflection of how you have been handling your connections and how people have been handling it with you okay in your romantic connections so pay attention okay to what spirit is trying to help you with at this time because you both want to i feel like you both want to talk to one another is what i'm getting okay hold on guys yeah okay okay i feel that your person is going to reach out to you okay they're going to reach out to you with an apology or with some type of truth. I do feel like this person really left you in the dark, Taurus, um, with a lot of things. And it's because they were so not focused on this connection. They were not focused on you. They took on more than they could handle. Their focus was elsewhere. Their, their priorities were elsewhere. But this person does want to do what's fair and just. And I feel like this person will come to you with some sort of truth, reach out to you with an apology. Um, um, as soon as they get into balance, I feel like this person is going through a really chaotic time in their life. Um, it's like, okay, I just got, Spirit just said, like, their world is crashing down on them is what I'm getting, okay? Their world is crashing down on them. So they will reach out to you. There will be real realizations of how they treated you. I don't think this person really realized how they treated you. Like, ignoring you, not making you their priority, not giving... And you, I feel that you've lost hope. You don't think that this could turn around. You, I don't feel like you really think anymore that this could happen. You can come together. But what I will say is this person definitely will, um, they will come to a realization of how they've been treating you. And, um, Sorry, they're telling me to put a little more message. Okay. Yeah, and for um for some of you, I feel that this person has been um this is not for all of you, okay? But I do feel like there was someone else in the picture okay there was somebody else that they could have just been with when it has to do with like um intimacy okay um 
you know what that is so this could have to do with why they um why things didn't go on between you two or why they were not focused on you okay there could have been someone else but for some of you what i'm feeling is that it doesn't have to be a romantic person it's like there's two groups i feel like for some of you it was like just for intimacy um you know someone like that for others of you i do feel like a strong female presence so it could be their mother i don't know for some i feel like it's their their mother or um someone that is keeping them from that okay um yeah so they're no longer putting an effort into that connection okay um yeah i feel like you you're just you're just you're just holding back now too taurus you're fig you're on your journey you're trying to be you're gu being guided regardless okay so stay on your journey um but what I feel like is your person's definitely going to reach out to you. So I'm going to pull a spirit oracle card here for my Taurus. Let's see. If you hear growling, that's my stomach. I am hungry. I got to eat. All right. Let's see for Taurus. New direction. <laughs> Isn't that what I said? I don't know why I pull cards. New direction. Life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment, yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance. What may appear as chaos is often angelic forces of the universe at work. After the storm clears, you will be steered in a new direction, a time of renewed health, joy, and abundance. Like I said here, you're going to be pushed into a new direction. They're trying to help you. Spirit's trying to help you to heal these wounds, you know, get out of the fears you have of changing your life because you are being pushed in a new direction. Do not resist this. It might feel like a storm. It might feel like a tsunami. You know what I mean? But if spirit is really with you, pay attention, you know, eat a, a healthy diet so you can get all the messages that spirit is trying to guide you to get all that guidance. Okay. Because we have this you know, the hermit card too. So you're on your journey, Taurus. So pay attention, okay? Taurus, I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you already have it. And I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.